chair, fellow speakers and guests. Now, I want to start by asking you all a question. And it might be a little bit deep for a Thursday evening, but I want to ask, what is the difference about being a human and being an animal? Conscious. Conscious. Animals have consciousness. Soul. Speech. Do dogs bark? Do whales weevil with whatever they do? <laughs> the, uh, the sense of I. Mm, okay, bear with that one. That might come into it. Compassion. Compassion, possibly. Long-term planning. Long-term planning. <laughs> okay, well, do you know what? It's always interesting to ask these things. I mean, people always say about communication. Well, everyone communicates. All animals communicate somehow, some way. Um, the use of tools is also another one that comes up a lot. But do you know what? Do otters put a stone on their chest and crack open oysters with it? That's a tool. So it's not tools. But every creature eats, sleeps, procreates. But what makes us stand apart? This has been a really interesting thing for me, and I've read up loads and loads of stuff about this, and it's fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Now, remember, us being human has happened over tens of thousands of years. All the way back to the caveman time, we have started to separate ourselves from their animals. So it's been going on for millennia. really has. Now, as we now, humans, continue to change, we get further and further from that animal kingdom, differentiating ourselves from all these different other animals. Now I've read up and I believe I've boiled it down to three things that differentiates us. Three, only three. And I believe the first one is tolerance. You're looking a bit blank, perhaps I should explain it a bit more. Yes, I think I should. Well, tolerance is something that in the animal kingdom they don't believe in. It is the survival of the fittest. I mean, people don't go around the same as animals. If someone's lame or left behind, they don't leave them behind, they go back and help. Tolerance. Now, I'll read you the tolerance from the dictionary, and it states, the ability or willingness to tolerate the existence of opinions or behaviours that one dislikes or disagrees with. Can you imagine a group of chimpanzees all sat around in a tree, trying to discuss what they're going to do? Or do you think what they're going to do is they're going to listen to their leader and go along with their opinions? It's tolerance. It's about understanding these things. Willing these things to happen. Now on the whole, in society, we're very capable of having a tolerant society. We have our opinions. Now we have, mass we have seen massive changes in recent years. If you think about it, we have tolerance in sex, age, Size? What about things like set, uh, colour and their own personal preferences? <laughs> Where's my mind going? But if you remember, it was never like that. I mean, you only got to look at the laws on, on homophobia. That only changed in the, in the relatively recent history. But these things are what, what makes us change our behaviours, and it's a fantastic human trait to have, tolerance. Now, tolerance also means we have to have rules. And rules means we have laws. And if you don't know, a little bit of history for you. First laws came in around 2000 BC when they were brought in by the Babylonians. 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 Depends on what side of the, 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 the fence you fall, isn't it? <laughs> but laws are there not necessarily for us to all agree with. But they are there to make sure we all live in peace and harmony. That's what tolerance is about. Now, number two, this is the exciting one, self-reflection. No other animal, apart from humans, can self-reflect. We have the ability of hindsight. No other animal does. No other animal thinks about their own self. They don't think about how many heartbeats they've got left. They don't think about death. They don't have that burden. But we do. How do we manage that? 
It's something we carry with us every day. We're able to step out of ourselves, step out of situations, and actually look in and reflect. That's something that no other creature does apart from humans. And I find that personally very exciting. Yes, animals can learn new skills, but they can't reflect. Now, humans have a very complex thought process, same as animals. They have thoughts, they have memories, and they've got abilities that other animals have as well. But if you think about it, with self-reflection, have you ever seen a dog look at a piece of art and actually appreciate it? <laughs> no. Have you ever seen a cat actually sit on a sofa and watch a film, not just the flashing lights on the screen? No. Or a hamster who has a hobby, a creative hobby to actually make something for themselves? No. They don't, because they can't self-reflect. It's stuff that we all do because we enjoy it and we reflect on our enjoyment. Now, with self-reflection, we're, we're able to cope with many different things, get lots of questions out of, out of the cosmos, understand what's happening, apart from things like GDPR and stuff like that. I mean, who knows what that's all about. Mm -hmm. But then mind. Now, without self-reflection, we would never have been able to harness the power of the wind, or been able to produce our very first boat. All about reflection. The problem with reflection is there does actually come things like grief, guilt, envy and jealousy, but that's why we have the tolerance and the law set in place to keep those in check. Now, the third thing is personal care. Now, all animals might make themselves look pretty. They preen themselves because they want to find a mate. But we actually look about our future care. We have education, we have health. We always look after ourselves. We're always planning for the future. Animals don't. So let me pose you this question, these three things. Tolerance, self-reflection, and personal care. It's something that only humans have. We have more stress in our lives than animals. Perhaps animals have a better understanding of life than we do. But this is us here. Now, I believe that humans have actually lost their way a little bit. We have lost our intentions and our knowing. We pollute the seas, we pollute the air. We're not looking after things. We're not using our self-reflection, we're not doing those things. So what I'm asking for you all to consider is being human, you're gonna to need to start using more tolerance, self-reflect more, and think about yourself. That's the art of being human.